one that I got includes her. So I know. Is that the wrong email address for her? She's got a couple. I've got a couple emails. Is that the one that you guys use? I wonder uh, if I clicked on the wrong email for her. I think I've used both interchangeably. I use both. Today she emailed me from the Yahoo one, but I've used I've used both. Okay. For her. All right. Well, okay. So we're recording now. Um, yeah. So Sergi, if you can give us an update on, on numbers. Sure. So last month we had 497. We're up by five. Um, I'm still working with Hazel behind the scenes. Um, so far, what I'm actually doing by myself is basically uh, touching basins with Crystal every month and getting the roster, uploading it to the Google Drive. I'm able to do that by myself, but everything else in terms of analysis, I'm still working with Hazel on that. Um, we're also scheduled for a meeting on the 20th to do the database. I wish she was here to talk more about that, but um, we're going to start uh, talking about the database and what I can do in terms of taking that from her. Uh, I sent you, I'm not sure if you checked your email, Stacey. Ruth, Ruth mentioned it earlier. She said that she liked a version of it. I'm not sure which was the welcome or the please, baby, please. <laughs> Yeah. It's the welcome one. I haven't looked at the second one yet. So uh, you got uh, both to take a look at. I included the new version versus the old version. And if it, I, I moved things around, omitted some things, I put a little bit more livelier tone to it, more conversational. Let me know what you Hello? Guys, thank you. This is, um, Everyone should have that. You three should have that. And from there. You're breaking up. I don't know if we can do anything. And reach out to everyone that has been uh, either left or joined since I've come on as membership chair and reach out to them as well. Okay. So, um, Sergi, when you're talking, you're, you're cutting in and out. We got, we got the gist of that for sure to read the, okay. to read those and give you feedback on those. But um, I don't know if there's a, a way to fix that for you. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, no idea. It may, where are it may you? Be... Where are you again? Are you're in this? You're in Louisiana. Yeah. Right. Okay. I was like, are you anywhere near Vermont? Maybe that's the problem. No. <laughs> All that um, yeah. there. So, um, but you did get the numbers. Uh, I, yeah. Plus five. Was there any other numbers? We've gained five members. Oh, you froze again. Yeah, you just froze for me as well. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I thought it was my connection. Is it, everybody else okay? Like Susan, Ruth, Ginny? Sure. It, was, it was breaking up for me on and off. I was breaking up too or just Sergi? Sergi. Just Sergi. Okay. Sergi. Okay, because okay. I'm, I'm getting right now, I'm saying your internet connection is unstable. So it's probably me and- probably You might Ron. turn your video off. Turn it off. Yeah, because if you turn your video off, it gives the audio a little more room to come through. Because not everyone just froze for me. Am I good now? For now, yeah. Okay. So up five, and I emailed the letter, the welcome and the renewal letter, letter to Stacy, Ruth, and Hazel, and I believe they're going to get back to me. And uh, once I get the edited versions of the letter, I will reach out to everyone who's been affected since I've joined on, either left or renewed, and I'll go back and and pull it. And I'm trying to work out a system where I can quickly uh, identify who's who's joined since then, um, or who's left, and that way I can just kind of move on from there for myself. But that that's that's taking some training behind the scenes. And I don't know if you heard, but we have a meeting uh, Hazel and I on the 20th to start working on the database. Okay. Yeah, I did hear that. And that's all I have. That's awesome that you're doing that. Thank you again for volunteering for that. You're welcome. That's outstanding. Um, okay. Um, and also just really quick about the upcoming meetings. We talked last time about having a networking event uh, in July. And yes. I'm not up for that. If anybody is insisting on it and really wants to do it. Uh, I'm not going to be there for it. I'm not going to do it. I got to, I got to know, I got to add boundaries. So I think it's too late. It's already July 12th. It's the yeah. Sunday, middle of the month. 
we did decide to not do one in July. We kind of went back and yeah. forth, but like in the okay. minutes I put that we were skipping July. Perfect, perfect. And I couldn't really necessarily remember, but then nobody else, but I didn't follow up. Nobody else followed up. Stephanie and Solomon didn't say anything about it from programming. So I just, I let it go. Um, we do, however, have um, our event in August that Solomon and I will run and and uh, August 23rd, I think is what we were looking at. Sounds good. Um, and that's just to get people ready for the conference. Um, so, all right, so uh, let's do, Hazel is still trying to get in. Um, she said, be patient with her, but I think we need to keep going. So we are gonna keep going. Um, Casey, what, what time on August 23rd? Is that regular seven? That, uh, has that was that the time for your event, Ruth? Was seven p.m. Eastern? As far as I recall, yeah, I think so. Yeah, because then that gets the West Coast people. Um, yeah, does that work for you, Sergi? Yeah, I'm hoping we can all be be there for that one. I'm hoping Stephanie will be able to be there since she's she's kind of leading the charge on one of these sessions. I think that's important. Um, Okay, so let's talk about the conference. Um, and Ruth, you had mentioned you wanted to start with that. So I have one thing to kind of update people on. I I have an event the evening of September 28th in Wilmington, Delaware. It's a book launch for a book that I copy edited and contributed contributed an essay to. And I really want to be there. So the freelancing session that I'm moderating is on the 30th. So instead of getting there on the 27th, I won't get to Las Vegas until as early as possible on the 29th. So whatever we may need to be doing on the 28th, I won't be able to pitch in. Okay, that is good to know. Um... Um, it's just one of those pain in the neck things where two important events are at the same time in different places. And as my dad used to say, with one behind, I can only be in one place at a time. Um, I, yeah, I totally get it. And what is the, I just got to look at my calendar. What is the um, July, or sorry, September, our was our coffee class, does anybody recall, is that on the 30th or the 29th? I don't remember and I don't have the schedule in front of me. I, I don't either. I'll, I'll just double check it um, just so we can just have somebody else sort of be the point person with um, have one or two people. Sergi and me as the point people and I just don't yeah. remember which day. Okay. If it's the 29th, I might get there in time to help with that. Okay. Um, if it's on the 30th, it's no problem. Sure. Okay. Okay. It, it, you know, somebody will have to step in. Okay. But your session, you'll be able to still moderate. It's oh, yeah. just yeah. My session, perfect. My session is until the 30th. Awesome. Okay. I will get there with the heavens cooperating. I will get there on the 29th and I hope in the morning. Okay. Perfect. So I don't have okay. my arrangements yet, but I should know tomorrow. Okay, has anybody booked? Oh, I just heard a beep into the, there's Hazel. Um, has, does anybody have plane tickets yet? Has anybody checked them? I haven't. Um, I have my hotel reservation, which I'm gonna have to change, but I haven't made my travel arrangements yet. Uh, yeah, the, I'm nervous about looking at the flights. All right, I'm asking Hazel to unmute herself. Hi. Hi, how are you, Hazel? No, I'm good. Good. I'm finishing up my uh, my things for the newsletter, so it's fine. Um, yes, I, you're talking about convention. Yeah. Yeah, we were just going over. Uh, Ruth has got a book launch she's going to attend on September 28th. Uh, so she's going to get there the as soon as she can on the 29th. As, um, and her session's on the 30th. The, her, the session she's moderating is on the 30th, so it doesn't affect that, but it might affect the coffee clutch, but that we, someone else can step in if that's so. Well, fine. here's my thought about what should happen for me at the convention since I'm not doing a training. I am offering to like organize the freelance corner. 
Oh, good, because that was the main thing I was going to help with. Great. And again, I can do that as soon as I get there, but but not on the 28th. Yeah, no, I, I my suggestion is I don't care about going to any of the sessions. <laughs> so okay. you guys are all going to be paying registration and might want to attend some sessions. So why don't I just take care of the freelance corner? I, I want you all to come and be part of it, but I will, this, this is my offer. I think that's wonderful. And my plan is to pitch in on the freelance corner and or the coffee clutch, because I'm really not, a, other than the one I'm responsible for, I'm probably not gonna bother with most of the sessions. Okay. So we yeah, can... um, that'll be great, Hazel. So any of the stuff that we need sort of uh, posted, printed, any of that kind of stuff? Yes. That's, that's yeah. perfect. Um, we'll still keep it the same where we have the, um, you know, the host of each of the little events that we're doing there, but as the point person for the, just so, and I think that's good to have, we'll have you and that could be, please reach out to Hazel Becker. Like we could be taught, go check, see Hazel Becker in the freelance corner. All of us can be there. All of us should be there when we can. Um, but if Hazel's offering to kind of hang out there, obviously you can leave. You can go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> so you can leave, but well, just so I think it, that's good that if you, they've got kind of the, the same person there um, for most of it. So we'll see how that, that goes. That's okay. great. All right. Um, I, I might also plan to um, tend to the fellows, whoever they may be. So. Oh, perfect. Awesome. So, okay. Be, I mean, I think, Stacey, it'll be really good for you also to work with the fellows. Yep. You're, you're kind of the face of the freelance community. And, and um, also, yeah, I'd love to. For this year, last year, I had a Terry Harper. Um, scholarship, fellowship, whatever we call it. So I was able to attend the awards dinner and that's where they introduced or presented our freelance fellows. Right. But I'm not expecting to attend that function this evening. So I think we, we need to make sure that either Stacy or someone from our community is there. Right. Specifically to, to you know, handhold the fellows and be there when they're introduced. I already have a ticket for that. So okay. I have a ticket to, oh, I didn't register yet. Well, <laughs> I mean, I'm figuring that it's all essentially my donation to SPJ. I don't know how I feel about making SPJ donations right now, but. <laughs> I've actually <laughs> never gone to it. I've never wanted to go to it and I've never gone to it. And last year, you know, I was still vice chair during um, Hillary was chair and we thought she was coming and then she couldn't at the last minute. So I was, I, you know, by then it was too late. Um, so I, am, yes, I am going. I think it's important. It's gracious to, to go and host the fellows there. And I yeah. think um, th that, and I gave my ticket to Nicole Lucretio. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and um so, you know, I feel like I did a good deed for her. She said can we she, sit, can we sit at the, how does that work? Can we sit at the table? Can we request to sit with the fellows? There's no assigned seating. There isn't, There's okay. There's no assigned seating. So somebody needs to get in there and, or maybe, maybe they can make a, a table sign and put it on one of the tables for us. Okay, if okay. They if they don't, if, if the office doesn't, then we could probably make our own little sign. But I think the thing to do is contact this year's fellows ahead of time, let them know that Stacy will be there and that they should look for her to sit together. Right. And, you know, whether Robert will come even or join us at the table, I don't know. It's, you know, things are weird. I mean, not between him and me, we're fine. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> between either one of us and SPJ yes. a little strange, um, which we can talk about sometime offline, anybody who wants to talk to me about it. 
give me a call. Um, I right. do. <laughs> um, so uh, for, for the three sessions that we have, does anybody need help on them besides me? Ruth, are you like totally set? Oh, I'm all set. Okay. Uh, I don't, I, I don't, Stephanie hasn't reached out to me, so I'm assuming she is all set. I'll, I'll send her, let me write down that I'll send her an email just to check. Um, I do not have any more editors coming than the three that I have. And I am just, if you guys can just rack your brains over the next week or so, um, just while well, it's top of mind, if anybody knows any editors there. Susan, did you send me a list of Las Vegas editors? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Um, I thought somebody sent me that, but I can't find it. Um, I have, I have emailed 80 plus people, um, and it could have been that it was too early. I always, it always runs into that when I have to send seven months before the meeting and people are just like, what are you even talking about? This is way too far. So I'm going to send them again to some of those people. I've got somebody from Nevada magazine coming, um, and the from the LA Times, which is big, I think. Um, I I was considering. I don't know what's going to happen with the San Diego Tribune, but I that was I got I was going to start just going up and down the West Coast. Um, but I don't think that's the right time right now to ask the San Diego Tribune with all the news that's happening over there. So I think if you keep trying in the next couple of weeks. Um, maybe wait until August to reconnect with people or send a new message. Because, to the people that I've already emailed, yeah. yeah or, and or new people. But I, I think if you try again in August, you might get more responses because it's closer to the event. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'll go back through my list. Um, and if anybody has any that you think of, uh, or if you know any freelancers there, I did reach out to the three freelancers that we have in Vegas. No one responded, or the three who I, though they didn't respond, but I thought that was a good, I can't remember who suggested to do that, but I thought that was a great idea. Um, I don't know if there's, like, what are the cities close? Like maybe LA for any freelancers I could read out, reach out to? Um, I don't know what you guys think about that. It would be LA and Phoenix. Yeah, okay. Maybe Denver. Maybe Denver and Albuquerque. And Reno. Reno, yeah. Um, Reno, okay. And Hazel, how do we get the, how do we get the locations? Is that something Sergi could grab for me on the cities? Yeah, that's what, that's what I was thinking. I'm, I'm, I'm unclear as to what your, you're searching for but definitely we were talking about um just being able to keep that sort of information on the rasta but yeah it, it's it's there in terms of just okay looking at the, the state and the city that information is part of the rasta so we should be able to uh pull that from there okay then can you but i'm not sure you, what you're looking, looking could for you today. i just want to know who members of our members of the freelance community from these cities los angeles phoenix Denver, Albuquerque, Reno, and Santa Fe? And San Francisco. Oh yeah, maybe San Francisco too? Yeah. And you just want me to just send you a list of those people with their contact information? I, uh, just, I just need their email, their name and email, really. Okay. Sure. Um, what are you asking them, Stacy? Then are you asking? I'm going to ask them who, they're, if they're freelancers and they're working. If they're not working, they're not going to be of any help. But if they're working, they could. Um, I'm just going to ask them if they can send me the contact information for some of the editors. We're trying to get some editors in this, you know, session, and we'd love to have some. Uh, that's all. I'm just going to ask them to give me their editors. Okay contacts i mean because there might be some local magazine out there that i've never heard of and i won't know how to even find it that everybody in that part of the country knows about and could work for so 
Um, the other thing you could do is um, put something in leads. Yeah. Inviting um, editors who will be attending the convention to join us for the um, freelancer editor meet and greet. And yeah, so, okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a great idea. Um, yeah, and I'll word it so that they know not just to show up, like that they'll have to reach out and say, okay. Yeah, yeah, it, it, that, that we're hoping to have a few more. Um, is, who's the third one? Lou. Oh. There's also, there's Michelle Mueller. Uh, I can't, there's one other, there's four. And Lou and then Angela from the LA Times. Okay. It's Nevada. I, I can't remember the fourth one. It's one of the ones we had last year that she thinks she can make it again. And I have to go back and check. That, that's great. That's great. So, but my concern is that even if, like, if you had four, like, we could still pull this off with four, but you have four yeah. until the week of, and then two can't come. You know, by next week, we should be able to talk to Karen and see. Um, if she can send us a list of all the speakers. Okay. I guess they're all on the web by now. And we could look and see. I mean, you know, the thing I haven't is, checked it in a little bit. I will check it. Um, I mean, the, the time slots aren't there, but. Okay. Awesome. Um, okay. Uh, so I think. I don't know if we need to necessarily talk much about it. I think for our meeting in August or the event in August, we'll just kind of, I don't think anything needs to be super formal, but Ruth can talk about her session. Um, yeah. I'll have it organized where I go through the different things that the freelance corner is offering as well as the editor meet and greet. And um, Stephanie or Solomon can talk about uh, the imposter syndrome session. And I think just keep it pretty informal. And it's not like we'll be going through bullet lists or something. So for that event, um, to get people excited about it. Yeah. Um, and the other thing, is there any other conference stuff? Can't think of anything at my end. Okay. Make sure when you register, um, if you're a moderator, that you say that, because I think you get... I didn't know this last year. I shouldn't have paid as much as I did. Um, it's a little bit less, I think. So just make sure, even though you're not a speaker. I don't, but... know, I don't know for sure if they're offering that this year. Oh, okay, okay. Darn well better, because I'm not paying. Oh, because you're, oh, I don't think you have to anyway, though, if you're not going to any of the sessions, right? Because well, Susan, you've come before and not paid, right? You've come, no. oh, you. oh, okay, okay. Yeah, if you're not going into any of the sessions, Ruth, then you don't need to pay because you'll just be, you'll register as a speaker or the moderator and that's it. Yeah. Um, you'll have a badge for the one day of your. Yeah, I'm, session. I'll check with Karen because last year was unusual because I had the Terry Harper thing, but yeah. uh, if they want me to pay for the 29th, then we will have a small problem. Right. I don't pay when I'm speaking, especially when I have to pay for something as expensive as- Oh, they would not ask you to do that. Yeah. No, that's always been true. Well, but it, I think Hazel, what, it, what they've done, what they've said in the past is you get the day of your presentation for free and they want you to pay for the rest of it. So I'll, I will check with Karen. Yeah, yeah, but I think- uh, the rest of it, meaning if you're going to go into sessions, because anybody can just go into the conference center and walk around. Um, okay. So like Corey did last year, you know, they, but, uh, as long as you don't go into the rooms and to be honest, like I bet some people do that. Um, so, really? yeah. So I think, especially with the work that we're doing um, in the freelance I'm, corner and beyond that, I think it should be fine. I'm not worried about it. Karen, Karen and I'll take care of it whatever needs to be taken care of. 
All right, so let's move on to the, um, I wanna talk about the holy cow freelance, I'm sorry, the freelance community Facebook group because I couldn't even respond to each of those emails. I, I thought that we were gonna have one person do it. And then I felt like we had more than anyone do it over the last month, more than we've ever had do it over the last month. Um, when you say, what, yeah, are, like, what are you referring to? The um, like, approving new members or just contributing and managing posts? Um, approving new members. Yeah, like every time I went in and checked on it, like someone else had already approved it. And I was probably checking it every day at first and then every couple of days. Could Susan and I and Jenny talk a little bit about the Facebook group? Yeah. Right now. If yep. you have time on the agenda, Stacy. We have time, yes. We don't have an agenda, so we have time. Right. All right. Well, let me let me back it up a little bit and say that um, taking care of the Facebook group entails so much more than just letting people into the group. Mm -hmm. Right. And I don't know to what extent it's possible. I don't think so, but it's possible that we've been overdoing it a little bit as far as tending the group. Um, I always used to write a welcome post like once a week and welcome all the new people and ask them to introduce themselves. And some people didn't, most people didn't, but it was fine. That, that makes them get used to um, engaging in the group. Um, I also have routinely, well, it isn't routine at all, um, like done congratulations for people who have gotten fellowships and grants and uh, awards, particularly the awards and stuff like that. Um, and I think people appreciate that. Um, and I think it's, it helps to show freelancers that people are getting recognition. Mm -hmm. Freelancers are getting recognition for their work. And I think that um, that I believe that should continue. Um, but if we have all of the board members admitting people to the group and making that be their contribution, then there's really not anybody to take care of the other moderation that needs to take place. And the thing I really want to impress, and I'll let Susan talk about this a little bit too. The thing I really want to impress, impress on you all is that there are troublemakers out there on the web still. And we have been pretty strict about sticking to our Facebook group rules to keep people to, to help people understand that we, the, Facebook, the freelance community, are setting a tone and that it's not a free for all for everybody, for people to come in there and cause trouble because we've had trouble. Yeah. The, and some of it's been pretty bad, um, including people being extremely rude to Susan in particular, I think. Um, but I think it's true of all of us. So Susan, do you want to talk about that a little bit or not? Yeah, I mean, we've been um, pretty, yeah. <laughs> because what happens is people are like, oh, I'll just become a journalist. <laughs> and so you get people who have a blog and they have no journalism background whatsoever. They've never been to school for it. They're not involved in anything journalistically, stuff like that. Um, we get them. I think in our group, I think what doesn't get seen is the amount of um, posts that are crafted to try to engage people in conversation on the group. 
So whether it's finding an article and posting it and asking what people think about it or coming up with questions and things like that. Um, in the past, I used to even schedule them sometimes just so that we had something going so that it keeps the group active. They know that like, oh, they're going to post interesting stuff here. I should check in every once in a while. Um, and I don't know if that's necessarily seen because it's so much behind the scenes. Well, I, I only see lately two things. I see new posts to the group, but I don't see them to approve or, or respond to. And I see requests to join. When I see the request to join, I go to that and it's usually before the hour that we've set for automatic decline when people don't answer all three questions. So if they haven't answered the questions, I don't, I don't bother because I know that's gonna be taken care of automatically. If they've answered the three questions and it's still pending, I approve if the if the answers look appropriate. I'm not seeing any of the other stuff and I'm not, and I apologize for this, I'll try to be better. I'm not contributing new posts to our group. I'm responding when we have a new post, but I haven't been contributing very much on my own other than the weekly um, you know, report on recent activities. Oh, here's the and, yeah I've I've more been engaged with responding to people's posts and like giving likes and um I haven't done it the main thing I've done new posts on or is it if it's like an event of ours but I haven't done a lot of other kind of posts I mean as far as new content but I think that's just more my style like I don't do a lot of that anywhere else either um, you know, and if I need to do more, I probably could, but I think I was just more focusing on our official events as far as things I post about. And then like, I, I usually put a comment or something like congratulations or, Hey, and like, I, I think initially I was doing the welcome letters, but then, um, maybe I've gotten away from that here lately because when I felt like, um, other people's well since mainly since the last meeting since other people were approving it it kind of got confusing for me because every time I went to go on there like somebody else approved it and then I was just mainly kind of monitoring it at that point and mainly just putting likes and little comments like congratulations or whatever so currently Hazel who who has who sees posts, not the request to join, but who sees any posts, posts that require either moderation or approval before they go live? There aren't any of them. Okay. We have not made it so that we have to approve things. The okay. problem comes in when somebody takes off after someone else in the group. Ah. Which and hasn't that, happened lately, right? I mean, I know yeah, it hasn't happened as much lately. I don't feel like either, like, I, unless I I've missed it, but. But some of that is because Facebook just isn't as, act, our Facebook group anyway, just isn't as active as it used to be. But I have to tell you something. When it happens, <laughs> you really want to know why is this person in our, in our group? Yeah. And having the information in the activity log about how they answered our questions or why the person who admitted them to the group uh, took that action rather than saying, no, this, this person really doesn't belong. Um, yeah, that would be very helpful. It, it should be done because it would be helpful. But I don't, it's, it really doesn't take but a minute to copy the questions and put them into a note in the activity log. And so I think the people who are admitting people really need to start to do that. So pay a little more attention to the content of not just the fact that somebody answered the question, but oh, they answered it. No, because sometimes they say, oh, I'm a journalist and 
then you look at what they're doing and it's not journalism. And then they come along later and they, they start arguing with us about some, uh, some cause that's very close to them, which is why they think they're a journalist because they're writing blog posts about stuff like that. And it can be pretty messy. Um, okay, so for, for from now on, those of us who are looking at the request to join should be a little more discriminating. And those of us who are paying attention to the group in general, we should make sure that if there's anything iffy, we respond to it right away. I think, yeah. I think that's good, but I just want to correct something or, or I don't want to give the impression that we think people haven't been doing the vetting. I don't have any reason to believe that the people who have been letting people into the group haven't been doing the vetting. It's just that it's a good idea to have the records when stuff comes up. Um, Hazel, um, so I have a question uh, to just to clarify this for everybody. So last meeting, when we were talking about um, doing this, where other people would come in, where other people would, like Ginny would have this month where she was letting people in. That was, and my, my understanding of that was that we were gonna try to lighten the load for the people that were doing, like you and Susan doing a lot of the, the work in Facebook. And, and we thought that might be helpful. And what's happened over the last couple of weeks, it sort of looks to me like it's actually a lot more confusing and maybe not as helpful as we thought it was going to be. So, and I didn't even know that Stephanie was, she's here. Hi, Stephanie. I didn't know that Hi, Stephanie there. was even part of, I didn't know she was letting people in too. And I had no idea that she was doing that. So there's all these people, and I didn't, uh, to be honest, I didn't know Ruth was doing that either. I thought it was you and Susan. And I think it came up last time because Susan was going away. And like, what do we do when people go away? What do we do? What if Hazel's got something, Susan's away, we're going to try to get, we want to make sure people know how to do this. And what if we have assigned months or whatever? But I feel like that made it crazy. Um, well, it was kind of like a free for all, like, like I was supposed to be doing it, but then everybody started jumping in and doing it. Right. And then I agree with you. My instinct is it's better to have more of us doing that than fewer, especially because the lead people, the, the two lead people who I think would be Hazel and Susan may not always be available. And my only question is, do we want to just keep it kind of loose or do we want to actually say so-and-so does one month, so-and-so does the other month? And I think I, that, Ruth, I think that brings up a good point. I, I actually now would go back the other way, um, just to, just seeing what's happened this past month. I think keeping it loose, just knowing, okay, I'm going to go in and check. I'm going to go in and check and just make sure. I got a few minutes, I'm going to go check. But knowing that people are handling this. We don't necessarily need somebody to be assigned to it. <coughs> but when Susan but does I have one. I don't go in and check. I, I check on a request to join when somebody asks to join because I get a notification. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, okay. So. And I look at the group when I get a notification of a new post. So anytime Hazel or anybody else posts to our Facebook group, I go yeah. and look. I'm yeah. not, I'm like a couple other of, I'm not very good about posting new stuff myself. I will try to do more of that, but it, it's. I think I, it's okay that you don't, Ruth. You don't think you have to add that to your plate. I think it's okay that you don't. You, some people use social media more than others. I do it in, in spurts. I might do it once. I don't think you need to um, put that you know, on yourself, um, if that's not something you would normally do. Um, so do you think, Hazel, then we should leave it as we don't need to assign anybody and everybody can still go in and do it? I, I don't know what. I have stopped doing that. And that was my goal. By yeah. the end of the year, I don't want to be doing any of the Facebook stuff. 
I okay. want to be doing very little of anything for the freelance community <laughs> other yeah. than to negotiate through some of the vagaries of the foundation and get the freelance fund to be having some different offerings and uh, keep the fellowship up and you know I'm I I I need to figure out how we get money for technology because it's in yeah. the in the charter for the foundation I mean for the fund and um I need to figure out how all of that's going to work so those are the kinds of things i want to be doing i don't want to be doing the everyday stuff anymore i'm tired okay so let's keep it loose um to use ruth's term i think that's good um but let's keep it loose then and whoever's an admin which i think is all of us now we can go in but just go by what susan and hazel have said about make sure you if you're not going to do that just don't bother let somebody else admit or reject um, but make sure we put the notes in so that we have the information. Okay. And that'll help us when, because Hazel, that'll give you the freedom, your freedom. Yeah. And when Susan does go on vacation, um, an, ex an adventure, um, we get to, so there's, we know what we're doing. The rest of us know, I know Ruth does, Ruth's been in there and Stephanie's been in there, but the re you never know what, maybe other people have other commitments, they're too busy. We all need to know how to do that. So, okay. And for, for me, um, just so you all know, I'm on Facebook pretty much throughout the day, but I'm involved in a lot of different groups. So it's not that I'm not regularly using Facebook. It's just that I'm not posting new content, I'm usually responding to what's already there. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, that was all I had really was the conference, the August um, meeting with to, to get people excited about the conference and then the whole Facebook. Um, so we have a few more minutes. Can we get information about the august event in the next few days so we can start promoting it in enough start time. promoting it yeah the, yeah and the wording will be so and stephanie's here so um stephanie we're going to do our august event is going to get people excited about the conference that's coming up so we're going to sort of just host it and eat, there's going to be three of us that will talk about the different events i'll talk about what's going on in the freelance corner um and i can send you kind of a just a quick paragraph or a snapshot of what we want to sort of discuss and then you can just do whatever you want with it you can um write your own do whatever you want does that sound good yeah that's that's fine okay that's good thank you sure thing i just thought of something do we have a linkedin group no no do we want one we talked about that when we were talking about, do we want to not be on Twitter? Do we want to have a bigger presence on LinkedIn? And we, it was not a resounding yes. Okay. When, I mean, when we had that discussion, but I'm open to it. Um, I do use LinkedIn to look for jobs for every week for the newsletter. And it, it <coughs> you can see where it would be useful, but again, it would be more time for at least one of us, if not several. So. Not sure how much more people want to do or can do. Um, yeah, and I think I don't think anybody has. I think we're just all very busy. Yeah, it's too bad. There's not one of us who like is a really bad freelancer who has no work. <laughs> but I don't think anybody can take on any more work, which is a good thing, I think. But. Um, yeah, I'm. I 100% can't right now. Okay. Um, do that, but but that's definitely something we can talk about. Um, oh, do we think we should have? Remember the year that Hillary did an annual meeting in person at the conference? Oh, I guess she did it two years in a row. Should we do that again? Try to coordinate that. I know it's really difficult to try to coordinate a time when everybody is available and not in sessions and that sort of thing. Maybe at one of either the lunchtime. Uh, time frame or maybe um, one of the evenings when there isn't an event planned. 
you can ask Hillary why she stopped doing it. I think that might be a way to, you know, get her judgment about that. Do you know Susan by chance? No. I I the last one I remember going to was in New Orleans, I think. I think I went to one in either DC or Baltimore. But that's been I I thought we stopped doing it because of COVID. Was it in San Diego? I mean in San Antonio that we were in the hallway? Yes. Yeah. Didn't we have our annual meeting in that hallway and a no. lot of Stop we had the annual meeting. It was in a it was in a conference room. I remember it being in a room, and I yeah. um, I think we need to we need to know two things: why we didn't do it recently, and whether it's a requirement. Because I know in some of my organizations, the either the association or its subgroups of some sort, there's a there's a formal requirement to have an annual meeting. If it's not required of us, I'm not sure we need to do it. And we probably don't need to do it in person. If we need to do it at all, it could probably be virtual. Yeah. I kind of liked that it was in person. Um, we opened it to, Lance just got here. Hello, Lance. Um, hey. We, we, I like that it was in person because we had several people come one year. It was pretty busy. We had several people come just to come and learn more about us. And I liked that it was a little bit more formal than just the freelance corner where they kind of heard what we were doing and what our plans were for the next year. Um, I don't know my, if any of those. Instinct, my instinct is for this year though, Las Vegas is a pretty expensive destination. So unless we find out that there will be quite a lot of our freelance colleagues there, this might not be the year to try and do it in person. I mean, I, I like, you guys know, I like anything and everything in person, but this might not be the year to, to bring that back. I could be wrong. We could have a ton of people, but I don't know. Well, and I think even if we didn't, um, because we're not gonna meet in September, outside of the conference, right? I don't think so. So just basically it's our monthly board meeting, but it's an annual meeting. Well, we could we could designate a time during the convention at our freelancers corner and call it an annual meeting, but um, maybe make the, the um, whatever we're gonna call the brown bag lunch so that people understand uh -huh. bag means you bring your own, um, that could be the annual meeting. I mean, that, that session last year was packed. It was packed. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know if it's because people thought they were gonna get fed or if they just you know wanted to hang out with freelance colleagues, but that would probably be our best opportunity yeah. And, you know, that's a good idea. Maybe it doesn't need to be, especially if it's not a requirement, which I don't think it is because we haven't done it every year. Um, but if that's a good suggestion, because we could, it could sort of tailor the meeting a little bit too, but we can talk about what's coming for next year. Um, what are we doing the first couple of months, which we'll get to, you know, in the next month or two, we'll have hopefully sort of the taxes event. Um, so we'll, that would be a good place to do that, I think. So we don't necessarily call it an annual meeting, but I think it's a good place to talk about that, like you said. Or we do call it an annual meeting slash brown bag lunch. I mean, it. it we could go either way. Mm -hmm. I don't, I think I wouldn't come to an annual meeting for like, I don't know. TV producers annual meeting at this conference, but I would if it was a brown bag lunch or whatever we're going to call it. Um, Why don't we call it BYOL, bring your own lunch? <laughs> right. <laughs> I like BYOB lunch, parentheses, bag, not beer. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I think anybody who doesn't understand that brown bag means you bring your own i i don't i have no idea why somebody wouldn't understand that but 
if we have to cater to the lowest common denominator, then we have to cater to the lowest common denominator. Does this generation even know what brown bag lunches are? <laughs> no idea. Um, I'm going to have to get going. Uh, do we have anything else for our non-agenda? No. Okay. I um, Sergi, I will send you back my edits on the two letters probably tonight, no later than the morning. And then as soon as I make my airline arrangements, I'll let you all know so we can figure out where I can where I can help out on the 29th as well as the 30th. All right. Is most everybody besides Ruth getting there on Wednesday or Thursday morning or? I'll be getting there uh, Wednesday. Me too. Wednesday. Yeah, I'm just gonna fly as early as I can. I've already talked to my people at school and they're, they actually are gonna, I think, pay me for the days that I'm gone. They're gonna call it um, that I'm mm -hmm. a professional conference, even though it has nothing to do with teaching. So anyway, I am gonna go early in the morning because I got the whole day, so. See you all in August. You. Okay, bye Ruth. Bye, good night. They must really love your station. Uh, I, I, well, I'm, I'm not going to be humble right now, but I am. I have become very popular there. I really get along very, very well with these kids, and these kids are tough. Some of these kids are tough, tough kids. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've broken up fist fights, like it, but it's. I really like these kids. The harder they are, the more I like them, which has really surprised me. Um, so. so you, Hazel, and I need to come up with a meeting date for the fellowship choosing, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, I, I um, haven't really been looking at them, and I haven't done pre-analysis to, you know, the thing I did last year where I checked off all the, uh, all the requirements and stuff like that. I haven't, I haven't done that ahead of time this time. I know we have like twelve to fourteen applicants. Wow. Occurs to me, it appears to me that some of them are not SPJ members. Oh, okay. So I don't think that they will all be considered. Um, I, I believe it's pie. And the way I'm going to find out is I'm going to send Crystal the list of names of people who are not freelance community members. Yes. The only way that I know is by looking at our, whether they're an SPJ member is by looking at our roster. Um, unless I happen to just know them and I do know um, two or three people who applied. Um, and, um, but I think that we do need to set a date, Susan and Stacy. Um, or reviewing the applications and, and making choices. We said we would let people know by um, August 1st, didn't we? Somewhere around there. Yeah. Want to meet next Monday, the 17th? Uh, let me check my schedule. That would be fine with me. Do you not work that day? It's the summer. I'm on summer break. Mm. Okay. And is <laughs> you on summer break too? No, I didn't think so. Um, I'm on summer break for one job, but I am still um, writing scripts um, and I've just taken on writing a website for that TV show. So, but that's very flexible. Okay. So if the 17th works for both of you, then that's fine. What um, time? Uh, well, obviously it's got to be afternoon. East Coast time, because um, we're not going to wake you up in the middle of right. The if you want a functioning brain on my that, nine a.m. East Coast time, Susan. I know. Um, um, I, I I'll check the um, I'll check the um, the thing the the Zoom. Okay, schedule. I'm good. I'm pretty good any time of day. Um, I don't love super late ones like this right now um, right. in the summer. I'd rather have it a little bit earlier. Um, so maybe Susan's lunchtime and our three o'clock or so, but I'm, I really will, I'll make it anytime work. I'll, I'll be able to do it. 
So just let me know. So Hazel, you want to book that? We'll leave yes. that. Okay. Perfect. I will. Um, okay. And then I'm going to do the rest of the meetings for the year, like I did before and send that out in an email again, uh, a new email um, with the meetings, events, um yeah we don't, the only event really we're going to have is the one in august um on this next email uh i won't i'm not going to have list the october november december i'm not going to list those events yet because we haven't really finalized those what is the date of the oh it's the 23rd uh, yeah august 23rd um that's a travel day for me. I whether I can make it or not, I don't know. You know what? I wonder. I got to go back to my notes, Hazel. I normally I would do this before this meeting, but at zero time. Um, I think we had. I think it was not a Wednesday. I'm gonna go back to my notes and see what I said because I knew it was a travel day for you. Um, and I think we talked about doing it on a Tuesday. So let me let me see. I'll I'll figure that out. I, I'm sure I wrote it down. So I'll just go back and check and then I'll send an email just to make sure it works for everybody. All right. So yeah, if, if, if it's a Tuesday, I'm out because <laughs> okay. I got class. Don't and that's the first week of class. So I can't skip. <laughs> Chances are I will not come to the meeting to that. Okay. Tuesday. Um, I will be staying with friends in New Hampshire, the 20th through the 23rd. Maybe we should stop recording. <laughs> oh, probably a good idea. Um, All right, our meetings adjourned. <laughs> All right, stick around, Lance. Don't go away. Okay. <laughs>